If you pass through Surrey's Sullivan Heights neighborhood near 150th Street and 62nd Avenue, you'll probably catch a glimpse of the feral peafowl. Or maybe you'll hear their haunting calls. <coughs> Last year, the birds drove a wedge into the heart of the community, with some supporting the feathered friends and others deeply critical of their impact, whether it was noise, droppings, or property damage. The number of birds last year ranged from 40 to more than 100. It's pretty much the same story like last year. Nothing much changed. The city's plan is to remove all of the birds. Nothing really started on that front until November, and now it's spring again. So within the next two or three weeks, you're going to see lots of like eggs everywhere around the house. Yeah, that's what happened this time of the year. It seems the city's plan on removal isn't moving quickly. With the help of some neighbors, they've managed to capture 14 of the peafowl. And this is where they've ended up, at the Surrey Animal Resource Centre. The city needed a place where the noisy birds wouldn't bother neighbours. Nine peacocks and peahens have already been brought here, medicated for parasites and adopted out. They've gone to four private rural properties in the region. Now, there are five new birds here, two peacocks and three peahens. But trapping efforts have come with challenges. Baited traps and net launchers have their limits. We've had some success with uh, residents who've offered up their garages for the birds, you know, to set up some food in the garage, wait for the birds to enter, shut the garage. Morosevich says it's harder than catching earthbound creatures, and the peafowl are learning to recognize the people and vehicles associated with the trapping. You know, they're smart, right? You know, getting them to actually enter a trap that's enclosed is very, very difficult, even for high value food like watermelon or something they find really appealing. Shergal wants to see the peafowl gone from the neighborhood, but he admits that it's tough. Yeah, oh yeah, they're smart. Yeah, they're really smart. He says at this rate, it'll take several years to get rid of them all. And Morosevich is concerned that they were able to trap the easiest birds first. The shy, cautious ones keep their distance and quickly learn to evade their potential captors. Rafferty Baker, CBC News, Surrey.